So since that first uh, Bunyan card, if we can call it, or Bunyan uh, portrait, yes. um, how has the big how has the business grown since that? Um, well, massively. I I guess um, like there's obviously events throughout the year, um, and I and I do um, I do stores and I do live events, and I'm now currently doing workshops in schools. Um, so. Uh, by pure coincidence, a client of mine, um, I, I now work for Trust, which has three schools in it, and I'd actually done private commission for staff, the head teachers at each of those three schools. So I'm now going into the classrooms with all different age groups, primary, middle and senior school, uh, doing art with them. And it's obviously fantastic and just spreading, spreading the, the love of art and Brilliant. inspiring the next generation, I hope. Amazing. Well, very similar aims to uh, the Pete James Foundation as well, yes, with, right. with the last thing you said anyway. But um, I mean, it's interesting, like, obviously, so your, it sounds like your delivery model has diversified and you're now obviously working the workshops in schools, you're working for this trust. But has how has sales got? What, what was that moment where you realised that this side hustle could, you know, pay your keep, basically? <laughs> Um, I suppose you when you start, and I, I do want to say something about cost to to all the audience out there. That when someone asks for a certain product, and I know you, lots of you guys have already got businesses or thinking of having businesses, you will have an idea in your head immediately. Like obviously, you know what costs you need to cover, but you'll also have an idea straight away of what that job is going to mean to you in terms of sort of toil and tears and it's it's really important that you don't waste mm. any of your time on that that you would spend on that job talking yourself in and out for cost just be honest just have your cost and be proud of your cost um and uh the most important thing i can say to you today is uh what a a good business contact of mine uh, a man called luke whitehead once said to me which is if you're in any conversation about cost which is always for brits excruciating because we've all been brought up to talk say that you know mo discussing money is vulgar and and so we, we find it very very awkward but obviously none of us are in business just for fun we're here to make money so don't be embarrassed be like a plumber be like an electrician say your cost and then what my friend mr whitehead said is when you're asked for cost you give your cost <clears throat> and then be silent the first person to speak loses so you have to make sure that's not you <laughs> so it's really really hard but you just have to say it and then just say nothing be mute and that is the way to being a millionaire <laughs> we like that actually and um it's actually not a theme that's come up before but i guess that's kind of sticking to your guns and sticking to your principles especially when you know the value of what you're creating Absolutely. it's so important yes 